So my dear souls, I have to call you souls because you are, you are not bodies that in all the scriptures this great truth has been given that body does the world and to dust it on earth. And it is also inert material, it has no consciousness, no life in it. As when we use some weapons or some things, they are inert material, they have no intention to be used or not to be used. If we use not, do not use our car, it will go lying over there. Only when we want to use, then we take it over and work upon it, and it is working. <clears throat> Similar is the condition of the body, that when we feel like working with our eyes, we go on working with the eyes. When we feel like working with the hands, then hands are working, legs and feet totally are no more in uh, work. And when our soul is tired of using the body in the end of the day, then it feels like withdrawing from its working system and withdraws its life currents from whole of the body and, constant, and comes over here on its own seat and then goes down to never places where it is disconnected from all the body system. As the driver when is sitting on the driving seat can work and can drive the car but when he feels tired, then the far relaxation goes on the back seat and lays down over there. No doubt, the driver is still in the car, but not on the driving seat and not taking rest. And the car cannot be handled by that driver who is not at the driving seat. And after having taken rest, when again he goes to the driving seat, then he can work upon the car and the car is again running and all that time the driver is not on the driving seat and not working on the car, car will remain totally uh, without action. This is also the condition of the body that as long as we are in the deep sleep, we do not know where we are or if we are existing or not even in the sleep. You totally lose your own consciousness also, own existence even. Because the body is not conscious, body is not active, and cannot feel that I am existing, it does at that time. I dust is totally inert material, our body is also inert material. And after the sleep, time is over, and the soul again, after having been refreshed from its own self, then it again comes up and then we, we are awakened and then we open the eyes <coughs> and we see, look at the watch, it is about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, again we feel that it is not the time to wake up and that we again feel like closing the eyes. In this way we have not offered our body to the soul for working and then the soul takes up our astral body and generally then we find the dreams and dreams are generally in the later part of the night when we have gone through the deep sleep it was really necessary for the refreshment of the soul and also for the uh, body to be, to be relaxed <clears throat> and that we find some kind of dreams, maybe good or bad dreams, hard dreams or some kind of nightmares and when we wake up then we say I have got such kind of dream, I have suffered or I have enjoyed. <clears throat> then who has suffered, who has enjoyed? You. Your body, physical body was lying on the bed and it has not gone anywhere and with the astral body you have suffered. It also means that who is suffering? 
that one who is consciousness is to suffer. <coughs> that if you find an accident, no doubt car is also smashed, but it is inert material. If there is some injury to you and little bruise <coughs> on your, any part of your body will also be known to you and you will feel hurt because you are conscious. Where there is consciousness, there is some kind of feeling, there is some kind of understanding over there. But what is inert material, that means as it is, there is no problem to it. <coughs> So our body is inert material and we are users of the body, we are keeping the body and when we have just our old car is not in proper working order, we dispose it off and buy a new one and begin to enjoy the ride on the new one. And when that one is also finished, we change to the another one. Our cars have changed. But we are not changed, we are the same. In the same way, we are eternal as soul. There was no time in the existence of Lord God. I can say in the existence of Lord God that we are as eternal, as old, as ancient as God is. Because when there was nothing, there was only God. And from God we came out, <coughs> that we are with Him as the ocean is made of, made of all drops. But we do not see the ocean as drops. But when you just take it out some water, and then just let it drop down, drop by drop, then we see that there are drops. And in the same way, God can be called a collection of all the souls. And then it becomes one because they are all of the same kind and they have all attraction, all affection and so much attraction, so much affection, so much love that they become one with each other and then we call that God and some scriptures it is also called over soul, our own self, big self, higher self. And that when God felt like that now I am one, I should have some kind of uh, a creation. Then the souls came out of God and then they began to come down in different regions which were our different intensities of the two things. One is pure God and the other is a pure inertness as we find in this world. A pure inertness is only in this world. If you go to the uh, astral region, there is never darkness over there. There is always light, little light. Because there is a God, maybe 20%, maybe 50%, and other 80% is inertness. And there is life in everybody, in everything. That is why it is called astral uh, plane. Astral means shining. But when we go to the second region, which is called the causal plane, there are the angels. And angels are quite heaven. And wonderful existence over there because they have got more than 40% even, or maybe around about 40% of God, but still. 60% is there of the inert material and inert material is ruling in these three regions because there is majority, more power is there. And further, when, the, when you go higher up in the super causal plane, then God becomes consciousness, purity becomes 60% and the inert material, inert material remains only 40% and there from the ruling of kingdom of God or God start and there is no law of karma. Law of karma, bondages of karma which is there written or given in all scriptures. It is only in these lower three regions 
and where there is the ruling of the lower god. This has also been mentioned in different scriptures that I am your jealous god and all those bad things you will do, you will have to suffer for them and even my wrath, my anger, your generations will have to bear. This negative god which we call negative power and this is the combination of uh, the two powers in different proportions. I am talking of um, just main things. But there is a percentage to percentage and even uh, fractions of the percentages which are there that the existence are divided so many numberless different kinds and numberless regions are there and that it is only that the souls are there and they are all living. If God is not there, souls are not there, there is nothing. Especially in this region, that all this greenery, all this other species of life, maybe of water, maybe of air, maybe quadrupeds, there is life in them. If God withdraws life from his own, which is from his own, then everything will be, will be like the moon. As the people went to the moon, they could not find life over there. It was all dead material. And that and God made the, all this earth, and this man also, God made man out of the dust of this earth, and then he infused his life impulse into the man, and man became a living soul. In the Bible it's very clearly described what is man. This is the definition of man. If you ask somebody or somebody asks you, who are you, what is man, then you can tell that we are made of the two things. One is inert material of this earth, which is lifeless. This body is there. It is also defined about the body only, that this body is dust of what added to dust eternal. You can mention about your body, but when you have to mention about your soul, then you have to say, I am of the same essence as that of God. I bear the seal of God. I belong to God. And I have to hand over myself to God because I am waited over there. And I can only live over there where I am befitted properly as a child. When asked, where are you to go? Then he will tell the house and the family where it belongs to. He will not tell anything else or anywhere else where he relates to. Because there he knows that I am uh, awaited already over there. And then I will go there. Only there I will be befitted, no worries, no problems, no sufferings. Other, everything will be shoved upon me and there I will be able to relax and to really enjoy. And this is the reason why we are not enjoying over here, because this world is not belonging to us. There is nothing in common to us. Although at the level of body, mind and intellect, we are living here in this world, but this life is not supported in some kind of proper support because this life in this world of a human being is to be supported by God and by the arrangements of the kingdom of God. And if we are connected to God and the kingdom of God, then there is provision as it is given in the revelations that now God will wipe out all their tears. There will be no more sorrows, no more pains, no more miseries, no more sufferings, and no more death. This is 100% a surety over there that these things are not to occur to us. And what will be there? All love, all light, all life, all knowledge, all wisdom, all authority, and oneness, and perfection, like that of God. 
that if there is anything which is higher, better, it is a God. Your hearts will accept it. There is nothing better than God and kingdom of God. If we find anything of this world, we are no doubt very much proud of that I am now earning instead of $5,000 per month, I am earning $6,000, I am earning $10,000. You feel better. But still you find there are some people who are still better than you. And you feel jealous. And when you look, some people higher than you, that why should I be not like them or still better than them? But in this world it is not possible. But God has given us such like a standard of life that, my dear, you are to be like me. And I have given you myself and my kingdom so that you may be like me, be ye perfect, even as your Father who in heaven is perfect than the masters who came from God had to tell us that this is your lifestyle, this is your future, this is your career. What is our career? What does it profit a man if he gains possessions of the whole of the world? It is a question that what you will have if you are even made not only that to be the president of US or of Canada or so ruler of even whole of the world and you find everything of this world still it will be of no use, no profit because uneasy lies the head that bears the crown. It is very definite, very definite. And you see that all the politicians, the big politicians, the administrators, they are not just going along with easy life, comfortable life. Day and night they are worries, problems and sufferings. That anybody who is having any responsibility has to be very much in hardships. It is there that when we are children and somebody is responsible for us, their children can enjoy because they are not responsible for themselves and they are also not responsible for anybody else. And then there is no worry, no problem. Still there are some to the children, but the least are there for the children and when they grow up and when they become parents then the life is hard because they are responsible for themselves and also responsible for others and so many other responsibilities of their jobs or their businesses or properties are also there and nobody can really enjoy with some kind of responsibilities. This is generally the fate of the man, that's why it is called that what does profit a man if he gains the possessions of the whole of the world? Because nobody can enjoy in this world in any state. The poor are to suffer because they have nothing sufficient to live upon and rich people who are having so much <coughs> to live upon, it is hard for them to keep it connected to them because there are so many chances that from the high potential it is always tendency to flow to the lower potential. <coughs> and there is so much lower potential in this world. And there are people who are trying to snatch, grab or to steal from you, to rob from you. <coughs> and the rich man has always to keep very much careful to keep himself or his riches safe. But it's not really easy, so that is also a problem. So this world is made like this, but the kingdom of God is something else. That we are totally uh, under the control, under, under supervision, and all love, all blessings, everything is there from God, directly flowing to us. That a river is not to arrange any water. But there is an arrangement that automatically the river will remain full of water. There is some kind of automatic arrangement. Struggle, the river will find sufficient water. In the same way, there is automatic arrangement 
that God is immanent in every one, in every cell of the existence of His kingdom, that all and every every good thing is there available to us in plenty, and anything which is undesirable is not there. Here there is sometimes too cold, sometimes too hot, sometimes it is rainy season, sometimes we are uh, uh, hungry, sometimes we are thirsty, some, sometimes there are scorpions or snakes or some other things are there which we do not like and they are disturbing us. And it is very hard to keep ourselves safe and with all our arrangements Still, it is impossible that we can remain safe. All our life goes on to struggle against all those things which we do not want and that to arrange those things which we like, which we want. And this is our lifestyle. This is our lifestyle to go on finding what we want and to go on working for those things which we do not want that they are to be kept away. And it is very hard. It is too hard. Nobody could succeed till the last moment. But when there is such arrangement that all you do not want, you do not need, or there is some danger or some hardship to you, there is no more there. No disease, no problem, no worry, no suffering, no pain, no death. Because these are the main things which we do not want, do not like, but these are there. We cannot avoid. With all our worldly arrangements, although we have developed very much medical science or technical science and so many other things that the people had regarding the life of the kings, they have big armies, big armaments, and also in olden days we are there were forts, big forts, fortresses, and they were keeping themselves to be safe in those four village, uh, big forts and also surrounded by big armies and big arrangements. But still, they, they were not safe. Till they were invaded and were conquered over, and sometimes were killed or captured or made slaves. That with all our arrangements, even of today, we have not been able to keep ourselves safe from those things which are dangerous for us or pain-giving and we do not like. But in the kingdom of God, this arrangement is automatically there. But we are not only to live with those things which we, that we do not need, they are not there. But we also need some things without which we cannot live. What is love? Love is the top criterion of the life of not only human beings but everybody. If you give love to some animal, to some dog, to some cat, how do they respond to your love? Although you do not give them anything to eat or anything to drink, or any other, other thing they need. Only just give a pet and give a loving uh, attitude or touch to the, the animals. They will be mad after you. What for? Because they are also very hungry and very thirsty and they are missing love which is not available to them. And man is there that he is to love all because man is like God. Man has got God and man is to be full of love and love is the panacea of life for everybody and we will be able to even change the evils, the devils. Why there are some devils? Because we have not been able to give love to them and they have been not uh, injected love and they could not uh, become uh, lovely ones that they may also be able to love us, love others. If I have some fragrance, some people will get fragrance from me. But if I have only bad odor, then people will hate me. This is the condition of the devil 
that they are only filled with the negative power and negative power has only anger, aggressiveness or all negativity and they are working and what is the, uh, the blame that we can accuse them uh, that if a man has been able to become really uh, man, full man, full of God then we would have been able to bless all. I have also come in contact uh, since a long time so many people who had some such like uh, evil spirits or devils and that first when I was dealing with those then they were very much hard. We will kill everybody, we will destroy everything. I can do this, I can do that, I will do this. And I was saying, my dear, and why are you so hard? Why are you so negative? Why don't you do something good to others that I will serve others, I will love others, I will be useful to others? Why not this? We cannot. I cannot. I will not. I will not like it. It is a weakness. Why to serve? I am to rule. I am to do everything. I am having power. <laughs> this is their lifestyle. Because it is finally negative power. They were instigated by all this. But when they were given little more love, then they were feeling like, okay, what do you want from me? <laughs> then I told him that I want to make you connected with God, that you may be taken out of this bad or horrible lifestyle. Yes, we are suffering very much. We are burning and we cause only burning. We are suffering and we cause suffering. We are all horrible ones and suffer out our own horrible circumstances and we only can and do horrible actions to others. We cannot enjoy how we can uh, supply anything which we have not got with us to others. We are helpless. And then after some time they are agreeing and then they are chained. They are not really killed. They cannot be killed. Because after all they are also souls. It is only if your child has gone out in some bad company and other children have thrown all mud, dirt upon that child, then you are not to hate that child. You are to hate those children who had acted upon your child and made him dirty. Just love your child, clean your child, and after you have cleaned, washed him, and given him new clothes, then it is quite wonderful. Nothing is wrong with your child. If you go to God, ask him, there are some devils, there are some evils, there are some killers, there are some dacoits, there are very, very horrible persons which cannot be uh, bared uh, to live in this world. They will create such a havoc and they have to be killed. As you know very well, there are so many people who are in, in prison houses. Why? Because if they are let to be living in this world, they will create horrible circumstances and it is necessary to keep them aloof in control. Or some people are even hanged, persecuted and that they are killed because there is no hope that ever they can be chained and that they have to be disposed of so that with the disposal of one uh, horrible Think that if th hundreds of thousands are saved and are uh, in good condition, then it is better to uh, uh, solve this problem by killing someone. But uh, really, they are not killed. If we kill the body of someone who is really bad, as I already told, the bodies are all instruments. It is only the mind which is negatively charged and due to the disconnection of God and to the soul which is then to supply all love, all goodness to the mind. This uh, uh, supply has been disconnected and mind has been connected to this world and other devilish instincts of this world 
and all what was devilish has gone into the minds and minds have become devils evil full of anger lust greed ego attachment and so many other telling lies hypocrisy so many all bad things which are there these are only in mind and mind cannot be changed certainly it can be changed that how mind has become so much naturally child as it has become naturally child we can search out the cause and then we can try to be safe from those negative charging and if there's any way that we can clean the mind and then fill it with some kind of positive charging of god and love of god then this mind will also become is sceptical to love of god and all blessings and all other qualities and qualifications of god and it will only radiate god nothing will be there hard in it so my dear this, there is a science this outer science no doubt is dealing with the outer worldly lifestyles but still it is incomplete even in the outer worldly style but there is science which has been told by the masters who are we are the masters god speaking in them as he spake to the mouth of his holy prophets who have been since the world began and that science is perfect because he is perfect in knowledge in wisdom and also in competencies and we have read the scriptures that wherever the master had gone he had solved problems of all the uh, sufferers maybe any kind of sufferers everybody was uh, uh, helped in this world there are uh, all little helps but very very limited that there is very very little scope even if you go to uh, the the lawyers there are different kind of lawyers some are of taxation some are of criminals or some are of civils or some other trades and even in their own trades they are not really perfect sometimes they lose their cases they are not always successful even the doctors have only try because they are not god and they are not masters that god in them is working that they will be able to eradicate every kind of problem every kind of because god is capable to do everything everything is possible in him he is perfect and that perfect when one when comes in to work in the human body he will work in the same way and that is also in you all of you it is not that master comes and he is the only one who is having god with him in him it is in everybody the only difference is that uh, master when comes fully equipped with god in himself and connected and then he comes in this world he is the immune from all the negative effect negative impressions on his mind on his body or on his soul and is able to remain god and to work as god and to help all others but in us we are such like weak souls that negative power had been able to disconnect us from god and that we are not having anything any facility or any other help which is from god and we are no more god and we are no more indwellers of his kingdom and i have no help of god and no arrangements of kingdom of god are there and we are suffering really and there is no end to this suffering till we do not again get connected to god and when we are connected to god then we are awakened as soul because soul cannot be awakened without connection of god that if you want to burn this lamp and that disconnection is there it cannot burn but you have to put connection to this power house from where the power is coming 
and this power will begin to work in this bulb and then this bulb will be lighted up and will also illuminate around all the surroundings. Now this is the way that when master comes, they come God in them and God has only power to drive away the control of the negative power. Because negative power is only junior, only inferior or weaker than God. There is no other alternative that we can find help from some other agency instead of God. And that God knew it. And therefore he had been in this world God made flesh. No, sorry. World made flesh and dwelt amongst us. That world God. I came into this world in flesh and dwelt amongst us and awakened our souls that he has declared and every master has declared and is working like this that I have come to make the people see who do not see what what others cannot that after having given this connection of awakening of the soul in kingdom of God to some persons the master had declared that blessed are ye that you have seen those things which all those righteous persons, the kings and emperors, they could not see, although they tried to see, but you could see. And blessed are ye that you could hear those things which all other um, uh, uh, righteous persons, good persons, kings and emperors, they tried to see, but they could not see, but you could see. That is something different. That all the people of this world, what they see, what they can hear, that is something uh, very much inferior ordinary because all what we see and hear, the animals, birds, they are so seeing and hearing. What is the specialty? We are working at the level of the animals and birds, other species of life. Our uh, existence as a physical body is no more of any importance. But when we go to the master, then he awakens our soul, and soul is awakened in the kingdom of God, with God, and then we see in light of God, and we see the kingdom of God over there, and we also hear that word God, that sound, and that uh, only those persons can see who have been awakened as soul in the kingdom of God and they are with God and they are souls now and they are working as souls, living as souls in the kingdom of God in addition to this life. This life is also to go along. As you can take the example that there is a woman, a girl who is having are very poor parents and that she is accepted by a king and now she is a queen. Now she will enjoy it as queen but still she has connection with her poor parents and she will be able to take care of her poor parents and that they are also not to suffer. She has both the connections, first connection and the second connection also. On the first connection, she is not disconnected. She can go to the parents and parents can also come to her. In the same way, this connection of our soul, this is a different life, great life, wonderful life, which has been designed by God that this is your life, your soul, and I am your father. Love thy father God with all thy soul, with all thy whole heart and all thy mind. And you will love him when you will find him. If somebody tells you, uh, let it be your mother, the child of, mother of the child, tells the child, there's father, when you will find the father, love him. And then, when you will be able to love your father, when you will find him. When you don't find, you cannot. That is the law of love, that is somebody is to be loved. When there is that body and is lovable, 
and we feel like we're loving, then there is connection of love. And when we find God inside, He first loves us. But He loves us because we have not any love with us. Our love is very small, which is of the soul, and which has been polluted by the negative power so much that it has been changed into hatred, in anger, which is opposite to love. And if we are loving somebody, it is only very few pers persons to whom we love. And that is also not real love. It is all polluted love and not real love, not pure one. But uh, when we love our Father God, after He had given that connection of ocean of love to us, then we begin to love Him with that great love He has given to us. As if there is a magnet and there is a needle, first the magnet turns the needle into a magnet and then there is the attraction and then the needle will rush uh, towards the magnet and will become one and connected with the magnet, main magnet. In the same way, first uh, God power which is working in the master purifies, changes all uh, the situation of the soul and that all hatred, all anger, all aggressiveness, all negativity which is there, which we, with which we are suffering and with, with which we are also causing trouble or problems to others, that sometimes people are called killers or robbers or dacoits or gamblers or so many other negativities are there. And that all is taken away and then they become really wonderful ones. As state will come, that second law will also be fulfilled that love thy neighbor as thyself and love thy enemies also. There will be so much great flow of love that if uh, there is uh, some kind of big burning log of wood and that is coming to you, you will accept it. Okay, come on, because you are a big ocean of water. Because you know, when this uh, big log of wood which is on fire come to me, it will all be no more. It will also go cool. It will not affect me. It will not hurt me. I will be effective upon it. And you will not be afraid of that enemy. Because only we are scared of an enemy when it is effective upon us. It is stronger upon us when we are really in trouble from the someone that is called enemy. If no one is there who can hurt us or disturb us, we are not feeling that to feel that person or that thing to our enemy, we take it normal. Rather, when we find that I will be able, able to awaken that uh, 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 source of love which is lying all closed up and that it is only the outer surface which is full of bad odors or negativities which are negative to hurt me. Then you will be able to clean all what is outside bad and will open up all wonderfulness. And all the, those people will be changed and they will, uh, will begin to love you. That not only you are to love them, they will also begin to love you. And that is the great work which we have to do and learn to do. And if we have been able to learn to this work, then the, really we are good ones, wonderful ones, but we could not do it. As you find, I also see so many people who are parents and they have got children. When children are little grown up, they do not like their parents. They do not feel keep connected to their parents. Although parents have their hearts for the children, but children feel like themselves to be totally independent. It's some kind of uh, craving in their mind like this. But why is it like that? Because they find something better, easier than their own parents. Something. There is something. Otherwise, where there is something better, something easier, there is a, our tendency to go. It is a working of the mind. 
then why they are going away from the parents? Because they do not find the same thing which they find some from some others. And they are also not finding from others even. It is also their misunderstanding. Or they choose some friend and that friend of somebody changes and we have to search for other friend. Other friend also is a friend only for some days. That also changes and then we have to find some other friend. In this way, whole of the life becomes some kind of vicious circle. We start with suffering, we go on struggling for peace and happiness and love which we could not find and we end also in some kind of disaster in old disappointment and go to the same great ocean of hatred and anger and burnings and all troubles and problems and worries and go on suffering because we have not gone to that place where there is full of love, full of wonderful behavior where everything is wonderful for us and there is nothing which we do not like. And there is the opposite side. That is why uh, this negative power is called negative because it is opposite to us. And God is called to be our own self. We are of the same essence as that of God. And when we go to God, we are just in oneness with Him. No trouble, no problem, no worry, no suffering, no disease, no death. But when we could not come in contact with this great life, which is of the kingdom of God and God, till the end of this life, then we are finished. Because there is no other time or any occasion that we can make up our deficiency. This is the life of the human being which is only meant for this purpose. Even the angels are not having this, this privilege uh, to come in contact with God. Although they are much better than our life of this world, but they are also suffering. They are also not uh, having something peaceful because there are evils and devils over there with them. And those devils are stronger than these uh, uh, angels. And they are always uh, are attacking on the angels and they are regular fight and fight. And sometimes it happens that the angels are totally driven out and the devils are totally occupying everything and then they have to go to God for help and that God had been trying to come down in this world and had been restoring again the position of the angels and that there is some equilibrium in this world that there is not really havoc created by the devils here and there is something which is also from the angels. But even if God had to help these angels to eradicate the power of the devil, he will also have to come into the human being form, take up the human body. And through the human body, action is there. This is a law that the three words which are controlled by negative power or any uh, 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 other higher level which is uh, even under the control of the God power. If there is any change or any help which is to be uh, there, it uh, comes from this world. Because this world is there that human being has been made to act. A body has been given of such a form that it can act. The form and that uh, it can become even uh, the negative power, fully negative power, 100%, 100% double. It can also change into God. Here is in this world, you had got the history of so many people, so many kings who had really worked at devils. Very, very hard, very, very horrible. Even now you can find so many people and who are really to be called devils according to the actions. But there are also some human beings who are also just like God. They are one with God. I and my father are one. This is the development. To which side we have uh, gone 
to develop our life, to make or mar our career. That these are two ways, way of life in connection with holy light and sound of God and kingdom of God and then go on growing in it by dwelling in the kingdom of God maybe for two hours, maybe or three hours, maybe or four hours or go on working in this world and go on charging the mind with more and more negativity and you will become more and more, more and more negative. This is going on in this world as at least in the last 50 years since the Second World War I am conscious that what was the style of life in that time and what now in 50 years there's a great change, great change. At the end there was much better life. There was some people of good career, good thinking, good actions, good morals, socially, spiritually, everybody was much better. But now I could not find those things. And that is there is much downgrade, downgrade development towards the negativity. This is my experience and those people who are old among you would have also experienced the same thing. Why it is like that? Because all those people who are living in this world, they keep disconnected from God and the kingdom of God which is purifying. And they keep connected with all that stuff, all that situation which is dusty, muddy. So if you send your child outside where there's all dust, all mud, and today you have sent him clean, second day you will find him little dirty, third day you will find him still more dirty, and fourth day you will find him still more dirty, and it will go on more and more, more and more, because there's only arrangements of making the child dirty, there's no arrangement which is there which can clean the child, but the other child which is kept by the mother or the father in the home, there's no arrangement that anybody can do anything dirty to the child to make him dirty. But there's all arrangement that everything which is nice, wonderful, clean, that is to be done to the child by the arrangements which are there with the father and mother and that child will always be found wonderful, nice, clean because the connection is there which is clean, cleansing action. This we have not understood that there is a way of life that we are to be connected to God inside and kingdom of God inside and that has been given to us for the purpose and that is ordered to us seek ye first the kingdom of God. Whenever any person has been sent in this world and is born, this is the first uh, commandment which is to be given to the child and understood by the parents uh, that this child has been born to find the kingdom of God. That I am no doubt to nurse the child's body also. But first duty is to nourish uh, the soul of the child. Because the child is really soul and body is given to the child. Other bodies are so very important and not less important that it cannot be neglected. But importance is given to this more important thing and less importance is given to less important. If you are given uh, some silver and you are carrying it. But if you find in the way another big uh, cloud of gold, as you throw away the silver and you carry the gold because it is much more valuable than silver. It is more useful than that. So what is more useful, more valuable to us that we will have to take into our heart according to the merit. So what is the merit? Body is more or uh, our soul is more. In scriptures, in Bible also it has been told that flesh is more than the garment and soul is more than the flesh. Then what is more, which is our uh, top priority consideration, 
that is of soul and that <coughs> soul is to be taken care of the top priority but body is also not minerated if you have got a dog with you you are to feed yourself but you are also take care of your dog and also your cat or any other friend who is there even if there is somebody who has is there with you are with you as servant he is also to be given food <coughs> but priority is to be given by merit now what is our priority that is our body more valuable useful or our soul is more valuable and useful or god is more valuable and useful all the three are useful all the three are to be kept our families our relatives and friends all are have to be kept as we keep that what you respect you are family member that is not to the relative and that is not also to the friends and there are some neighbors there are some other people your colleagues who are just taken up taken at ordinary basis according to their connections or usefulness but we do not really neglect or dislike anybody because disliking or neglecting will create some problem but we, those things which are very important well, without which we cannot live we have to respect we have to keep we have to be very much particular about those so what is most important that is kingdom of god at last we have to leave the body the body is not to remain with us that if there is a flower uh, there is a uh, fruit following it and when fruit is there we do not bother about the flower if it is uh, filled away or dropped down because what was the flower was there it is now found and we look at the flower and see that now the fruit is also coming from behind it and we know that flower will fade away it will no more but it will hand over us the flower, uh, fruit which we will we need because flower was only just uh, something for runner for runner not our object not our subject even but there is fruit which is there that we are to really have so what is the purpose of body to find god because this is the packet in which we are and god is there kingdom of god is there we respect this pocket because packet because we are having to find god and kingdom of god in it if it is not there we will not find so respect it but only this aspect is valuable if we find the substance which is contained in it and what we find it and keep your packet also as long as it is to be with us it we will respect it we will keep it and when it is taken away we are already with our god and our function of the human life is finished that is the criterion of life as if you Uh, go to uh, some place uh, let it be to the market or to some friend and you do go some for for some purpose when your purpose is served you do not stay outside you at once come back to your home that i have gone to to some place for some purpose now it is done and i have to go back there's no use just a loitering over there and suffering over there why should not i go home and enjoy over there we have been sent in this world in this human body to find god and kingdom of god and this purpose is there if we have served this purpose after that we do not need this body this body may be with us or may not be with us because we are not really connected with this body even while living in this body we will be enjoying kingdom of god and god and we will like that all this uh, uh, connection of this world to this body with which we are suffering may end up 
and we may be allowed back to stay over there in the kingdom of God and God forever. Because, because here it's not possible. If you are to go inside and enjoy over there uh, as soul in God and kingdom of God, only for some time. Because still you are dutiful uh, to be in the body, uh, to uh, do what is required of you for your parents, for your children, for your family, for your doctors and friends of some job, or even to your own body. And that is not so easy. It is hard to work in this our world or live in this world. But when we are relieved of this duty, body taken away, and we are disconnected from all this world, we will be relieved. And we will be very happy, because then we will always, all the 24 hours, we will be there in the kingdom of God. And that atmosphere will be wonderful and wonderful and wonderful and really enjoyable. And that we will like. And that we will not be scared of death. Because death is only hard because when we do not look in front what is there good for us. But when there is something good, we will not like the place in which we are staying. But when there is nothing available, then we don't feel like leaving that place in which we are made to be little hard because we don't know what will happen after we leave this place. There is nothing future with us. That is the main difficulty that we have not managed what after death. And when we have managed, then we are very happy to go back because that is a wonderful place which we have got inside in the kingdom of God with God and that will remain far with us. God is eternal, kingdom of God is eternal and we are also eternal. Our connection is also eternal, new and new and fresh and fresh is there. There is nothing that we will feel boring or just uh, dissatisfied and we may feeling like having any changes. There is no need of any kind of change over there because we belong to something which is unchangeable, permanent, and we like that. Here the mind is uh, made of such like uh, material, which is ma material, material is always changing. It's a definition of material and it will like to be changing. That never you will find stable at one place or enjoying one thing. Variety and variety, variety and variety is there that you feel like living in this world of variety. And where we are to go on having varieties and varieties, then we will have to go to different places. And then it is hard. But where there we have got such a like tendency that we are to be stable at one place and that is sufficient and that is all wonderful for us. And we have got that. We don't need nothing more, nothing, nowhere to go. Then we will really relax, we will really enjoy. This kind of arrangement is there in the kingdom of God that you are stable and always forever fully contented, fully satisfied and fully full enjoyment over there. But this world is really made like this that everyone has to suffer each moment, even moment, new and new suffers, new and new worries, new and new, new, new and new problems and diseases are there. And you have to confront all those things which you do not know, which you do not expect, and you have not any arrangements against them. And if we have some arrangements, these are very little. And little arrangements are always insufficient, and therefore we are always in some kind of tension, problem, worries. So this world is not really for us that we may go on bearing it. And it becomes us unbearable. And we are struggling to change, to change the present condition, to, be, to become better and better. But wherever we go, still there is something hard over there. And there is no place in this world that even if we become the king of the whole of the world, there's no hope that we will be able to feel relaxed 
or confident or enjoying that nothing else is required. So then what to do? Then we have to do what the masters have told. In scriptures, I have also gone through very holy, wonderful words of the Bible. And I am not here to just give you anything of the East, because God is one. God is not of the East, or God not of the West, or they are not different gods. Kingdom of God is also the same. For whole of the creation, not for only this world, not only for three worlds, physical, astral, or causal, but for all the creation of God, there is one kingdom and one God, and soul is also belonging to the same God, same kingdom of God, and we belong to the same one. So there is no differentiation, there is no East, there is no West. It is only our feeling that we have to, to little differentiate country to country and from in our homes also we have some walls in between our neighbors, this neighbor's house, this is my house, this is other one's house, uh, that we have to make some kind of separation. But these are no only separations in this world uh, to satisfy our mind and little body. But when we are uh, working at the up at the level of soul, all their limitations are no more. And we belong to God and the kingdom of God and we belong to everybody. We are one with God and one with all creation of God. And that is uh, the place or state which has been given to us uh, that we may find it and then enjoy it and then end our sufferings. And this, although he had gone through the scriptures, but I tried by myself, but I could not achieve. For about 20 years I had gone through so many kinds of yogas and so many kinds of scriptures I had gone through. But at last, when I was totally disappointed, then God did help me that I was connected to my master. And then he gave me this initiation into the connection of holy light and sound and he did bring my soul over here and it was then taken inside the gates of kingdom of God were opened and I could see. And that blessed Ji that you could see, blessed Ji that you can hear what others Righteous persons, kings or emperors, or with any other elements they could not see, but you could see through the master. Because master has got authority from God. Because it is God himself in the man. And then God is attracting you because you belong to him. He knows you, that you are his dear children. He loves you more than himself to us. And therefore he all forgives, forgives all our sins, all our, all our actions with the law of mercy, forgiveness and grace. These are the three attributes of the kingdom of God, mercy, forgiveness and grace. And with this law of mercy, forgiveness and grace we can hope, otherwise we cannot boast of our actions. For our actions we cannot feel that we are fit for anything better. Not to talk of the kingdom of God. But his law is such a wonderful one that it is only for us, his children, human beings, all other species of life, or even angels. As I have told you, they are not to be accepted. They cannot be accepted. If they feel like to be accepted, they will have to come into the life of the human being and then they will also be accepted. Now luckily this great privilege, uh, this great uh, uh, favor we have already found that we are in human body which is a temple of God, in which kingdom of God is there and God is also there and we are also a child of God. Now second favor which we need is the competent master who may awaken our soul 
take out of the soap on the body and make it enter into the kingdom of God by cleaning it and making it fit for and also detaching us from all the karmic debts, karmic bondages of the negative power and that we are free to enjoy the kingdom of God and then we find something inside. It is not that you are only told that it will be there, something will be there. It is cash, it is not on credit. You are given, you will find it. And then you will be able to believe it also that you have found it. And you will believe it and then work upon it. If you are given some wonderful palace, and that is your palace, then don't go over there, it will not, uh, that you will. You will have to be then in of it and begin to enjoy it. And then you will enjoy it really. This is difficulty some people, they are given, everybody is given. But if they do not attend to the kingdom of God and God and don't spend about two or three hours over there, it's not really hard to devote our, our two hours or three hours. In the beginning you can even start from one hour, let it be. But three hours is really necessary because all those impressions which we have got in other twenty hours of the day and night will have to be washed out with these three hours of the attendance inside. This is called meditation. That if the child is with a negative uh, children, he is meditating on neg negativity. But when the child is with the parents, he is meditating also on parents. That where you are as attention, where you are attached, you are attending, and there is give and take automatically then going on. Some of other impressions are coming to you and your impressions go to the other one. That is called meditation. That when we are attending something wonderful, God and kingdom of God and wonderful impressions are coming to us, that meditation is really helpful. But this meditation which we are going around in this world, when we are attending to our friend, attending to our brother or sister or some other people of this world, that is also meditation. And we are having some give and take with each other. But here hey, it is our negative. That all our minds full of anger, greed, ego, attachment and so many other negativities. And our mind is already filled with all these vices and we will collect more and more. These meditations are generally not called meditation. Although it is also meditation. What is called meditation? where we find benefit, some object or some source which are full of goodness, wonderfulness, wonderfulness and we attend to that, attend to that and that we receive all wonderfulness and goodness from there. There we can say in scriptures it is also told like this that there you are to attend and that is called meditation. Everybody is appealed and given this meditation as we see with the outer eyes, the outside, in the same way with the inner, inner seeing faculty and the inner faculty of our soul, we find all this. And all the 24 hours, the world is not always available to us, but inside the kingdom of God and God is always at our disposal and we are to enjoy it. Here in this world, not after death, now and here it is available. So I am pleased to be among you all, you are wonderful ones, and that I appreciate that you have come, and I have also been enjoying among you, because now we feel like sitting in the kingdom of God. We are two or more than two sitting in my remembrance, there I am. So God is there in us, among us, because we are having His remembrance, we think of Him, and we are talking of His kingdom also, and they are there, and we are enjoying, and further also we will be able to enjoy. 
Okay, my dear, thank you for your kind friends. Other information also is being given to you for your guidance.